Hello all, welcome back. This is Cristobal Dina from Trinity Software. In this video, let us create tic-tac-toe game in Python. Python beginners can start with this simple GUI project. This game is built using tkinter in Python. So let's see the rules for tic-tac-toe game. The first rule is that the game is played on a 3 by 3 grid. Totally 9 squares will be present. The player 1's symbol is X and player 2's is O. Players take turns to place their symbols only in the empty squares. The first player who gets three symbols either in row wise, column wise or diagonally is considered as the winner. When all the nine squares are full and no player has three marks in the row, then the game ends in a tie. Represented diagrammatically the three cross three grid. I have mentioned each and every square with the numbers from 1 to 9. So the player who fills either 1, 2, 3 or 4, 5, 6 or 7, 8, 9 or the column wise or diagonally 1, 5, 9 or 3, 5, 7 will be considered as the winner. Okay. So to do this, we need to create a layout. I have used three widgets here. Labels, entry widgets and buttons. Two labels to represent the player 1 and player 2. Entry widgets to get their names and totally 10 buttons. Button 1 to button 9 represents the 3 cross 3 grid and one more button for restart option. So to organize these widgets, I have used grid layout manager in this tutorial. So now let's start writing the code. From tkinter, import everything. Start. Then in order to display the message, we need a message box. So importing tkinter dot message box as mb. Now create the root window tk equal to tk then set the title for this window tk dot title tic tac to now create the layout create two labels and two entry widgets the first label is l1 equal to label first argument was tk and then text for the label equal to player one and mention the symbol used x and then and also set the foreground color okay so now we have to place it in the root window using the grid method. So l1.grid we need to give the row and column. So by default the row and column starts from 0. I will place it in row 0 and column 0. Then create the entry widget. Name it as player1 equal to entry. First argument is tk. We are going to enter the name of the player and I can get it in a variable called text variable equal to p1. This p1 can be used to set the value as well as getting it. So we can use it to display whether uh, the player 1 has 1 or player 2 has 1. Comma and border with this set to 5. This p1 should be declared p1 equal to string variable. It holds only string value. Okay. Now this should be placed in player 1 dot grid in the same row. Row 0 column 1. Similarly we need to create label 2 and player 2. And label 2 and it's player 2 the symbol O and here it is placed in row 1 and column 0 the entry widget will be placed here so it is player 2 text variable is p2 so again that should be defined p2 equal to string variable fine then we need to create the buttons let me create restart button button in tk the text will be restart itself then fix the font size Fix the background color of the button and foreground color. That is the text color. BG. Okay. Now we need to place this button in grid. Place it in the same row. Row is equal to 1. And column 2. Okay. We need to call a function when the button is pressed. So that can be done using config method. We will call the function now. Later we can define the function. Restart.config using this command option equal to lambda function so to know more about this lambda or anonymous function i have given the link for that tutorial in the description below so lambda function called restart button which contains a code for restarting the game since it is not a defined we get an error later we will define it okay now we need to create the three cross three grid by creating button one to button nine btn one equal to button first argument tk the text should be empty in the beginning. So text equal to empty. Font size should be a little bigger. 20 bold. And you can set the background color and foreground color. BG equal to black. And also fix the height and width of the button. 
height equal to 4, width equal to 8. And finally, we have this command option equal to lambda. Let me call a function called button underscore click. It should take an argument btn1 that should be passed as an argument to this function. Okay. Now you can place it using this grid method btn1.grid. The last row is 1. So row equal to 2 and column equal to 0. Similarly, we need to create the buttons from 2 to 9. The only change will be the button numbers and the place where it is positioned. The second button btn2 will be placed in row 2 column 1. Then row 2 column 2. It goes on like that. Okay. Return the code for button number 2 to 9. Fine. So we have created the layout. To run the application, we have to call tk.main loop. That's it. Just the design part is over. We'll execute it. We got the layout. So 3 cross 3 grid. These are all buttons. Okay, we have not written the code. When you press a particular button, you will get an error. Because that button click method is not defined. But you can enter the names here. Player 1 name, player 2 name. A restart button also will not work. Now we need to apply the logic for tic-tac-toe game and write the function button click first. So define function here. Button underscore click which takes a button as an argument. Okay. Before going to this function, we should know the rule that each player take turns to play the game. So set one variable called p1 turn that is the turn for player 1 p1 underscore turn set it as 2 boolean variable so alternatively i can change this p1 turn from 2 to false and false to 2 so that first time player 1 will be playing the game next time player 2 will be playing the game then i have one more variable called flag which is set to 0 this is used for the rule which mentions that when all the nine squares are filled the game is over whenever a button is pressed i am going to increment it by 1 when it reaches the count 8, it means that all the 9 squares are filled. Okay, we are going to use this player1 turn as well as the flag variable inside this button click. And we are going to make changes to those variables. Define it as global p1 turn and the flag. Now what we are supposed to do. If you press a particular button, first we need to check whether the button text is empty. And check whose turn it is, player1 or player2's turn. If b text equal to empty. Only then the players can place a symbol on that particular button. And if it is player 1's turn, p1 turn will be true. In that case, set b of text to x. Because it is player 1's turn. Okay. After setting it to x, now it is player 2's turn. So I am setting this p1 turn as false now. Then, every time a symbol is placed, check whether that particular player has won the game or not. So, we need to call a function called check winner. Okay, we will write the function after completing this button click function. And whenever a button is pressed, you have to increment the value of flag. So, flag plus equal to 1. Okay, next, the same thing I have to check for player 2. Elif button text is empty and not p1 turn means p1 turn is false in that case the same code only difference is if it is player 2's turn the symbol to be placed here is bo and after player 2 has placed their symbol p1 turn is set back to true check winner function is called and flag is incremented by 1 okay the last condition is that if the button already contains some text and if the player tries to click that particular button we need to display a message that it is already filled you can give mb dot show info give the title tic tac toe we are giving a message that the particular grid is already filled you can fill only in the empty squares okay so that's it about button click function now we need to write the function for check winner to check the winner totally eight conditions to be checked let me talk from the point of view of the player 1. If either button 1, 2 and 3 are X or 4, 5 and 6 are X or 7, 8 and 9 are X or column wise 1, 4 and 7, 2, 5 and 8 or 3, 6 and 9 or if 1, 5, 9 or 3, 5, 7. If it is X, we have to declare that player 1 has won the game. If the same condition 
it's filled with O. It means that we have to declare that player 2 has won the game. Else, the last condition will be if all the squares are filled, that is flag becomes 8. We have to display that it is a type. This is what we are going to do in the check winner function. Let me give the conditions here. As I mentioned, totally 8 conditions are given. If it is equal to x, we have to declare that player 1 has won the game. So, mb.showInfo title and give the message by getting the name of the player by using that variable p1 and the get method wins. That's it. Similarly, elif same conditions should be checked for the symbol o. In that case, display that player 2 has won the game. p2.get wins. Elif the last condition is if all the squares have been filled so flag equal to 8 we have to show the information that it is a type that's it let's execute the code okay you can give two names so player one can start at any grid now player 2 has won the game still some empty squares are there now we have a problem close this and the players can still continue the game by filling other things so to avoid that we have to disable the button okay so we need to write a function for disabling the button and also for restarting the button once the game is over whenever you are displaying mb.showinfo you can disable the button disable call this function we are going to write it now disable underscore button Similarly here, here too. Okay, we'll write the function now. df, we are just going to disable the button by setting the status disable for each and every button. Dot configure, set the status disabled. Similarly from button 2 to button 9. Okay, the last thing to be done is restart button. So df restart underscore button. Here, the first thing to be done is that we should reset the flag and also the player 1 turn should be set as true. Then, we need to delete the contents of the entry widgets and the buttons from button 1 till button 9. The text should be made as empty. Also, we have disabled the buttons that should be set back to normal. So, all these things should be done. Global flag, p1 turn. Set flag as 0 and p1 turn as true. Now, entry widgets should be cleared. That is, player 1 contents is deleted using the delete method starting from the first character till the last character, 0, comma, end. Similarly, player 2 content is also deleted. Then, button 1 to button 9 text should be made as empty. Button 1 text is equal to button 2 till button 9 text equal to empty. Finally, change the state of the buttons btn one dot configure change the status normal similarly for the remaining buttons okay that's it with the restart button now execute again I'll give it names here when you try to press on a button which is already filled you will get the message grid already filled okay So it will become a tie. So disabled. When you press restart button, we need to type again. The player 1 has won the game. Since he filled the grid diagonally. Now it is disabled. Okay. So that's it about building a tic-tac-toe game in Python using TKinter. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.